Good morning, children. Today I am going to continue with the explanation of Chapter Six, The Great Escape, written by Lyman Frank Baum. Now, before I continue, I would like to give you a short description of what we did in the previous class. Now, in the previous class, we have studied that the lion was gave the description of the Kalidas. Now, the Kalidas were beasts with bodies like bears and heads like tigers and had sharp claws. And while they were walking or while they were on their way to Emerald City, they came across a second ditch. Now, the second ditch that they came across was a very huge ditch. Even the lion could not cross over it as it was very big. So all the four friends they started sitting and started thinking how to cross the ditch. So while, while they were thinking, it was the scarecrow who came up with an idea again. Now let us pay attention what was the idea that the scarecrow gave, the, gave his friends to continue with the journey to Emerald City. Now, near the, while they were thinking, there was a huge tree near the ditch. Now this huge tree, then the scarecrow said, if we use, if the tin wood man cut down this huge tree, we can use this huge tree, the branch of the huge tree as a bridge and we can walk across it and continue with our journey. That is a great idea, said the lion. One would almost think that you had brains instead of straw. Then the lion said, that's a very good idea that you have given given us one would almost think that you have you have brains rather than straw why did the lion say this the lion said this because the scarecrow he wanted some brains so that's why he wanted to go and meet the wizard of oz but he was actually made of straw the woodman set to work and chopped the tree then the lion put his front foot legs against the tree and pushed it. So slowly the big tree tipped and fell with a crash up across the ditch with the top branches on the other side. Now the tin wood man used his axe and he started cutting down the huge tree. And as he finished cutting down, uh, cutting the huge tree, the lion used his used his leg and slowly the huge top branches of the tree they fell across on the other side of the ditch. They had just started to cross the bridge when a sharp growl made them all look up. Now while they were going to cross the bridge suddenly they heard a sharp growl, a terrible sound the a sharp growl and they all looked up a terrible sound and they all looked up they were scared and they looked up they saw two great beasts with bodies like bears and heads like tigers running towards them now when they looked up they saw two great huge beasts with bodies like bear and heads like tigers running towards them coming towards them coming to attack them the Kalidas, uh, the Kalidas, said the lion, began to shake with fear. Now, when the lion saw those beasts, he said, it is the Kalidas. He told his friend, it is the Kalidas, and he was shaking with fear. He was scared of the Kalidas, as we have read in the chapter before, that the lion was very scared of the Kalidas. So, when the lion saw the Kalidas, he started shaking with fear and he told his friend to stand behind him and he uh, stand behind him. He told his friends to stand close behind him. I will fight them as long as I live as I'm alive. Then the lion said, told all of his friends, you will all stand behind me and I will fight these calendars as long as I'm alive. Now again, in the story, he's been called the cowardly lion, but now again this lion 
is showing some kind of bravery. The lion turned to face the Kalidas and gave, set out a loud and terrible roar out of fright. Then, as his friends, the Tin Woodman, Dorothy, and the Scarecrow stood behind the lion, the lion faced the Kalidas and gave and set out a strong means and set out a loud roar in fright, a loud scary sound in fright. In fright, he was scared of the Kalidas. So when the Kalidas heard that loud roar, that they also stopped. They were also surprised and they were also stopped for a while. Now Dorothy started screaming after hearing the loud roar and the scarecrow, he fell backwards and the Kalidas, the bear-like beast, the bear like beast with, uh, with tiger's head, with the heads like tigers, they also stopped in surprise. They were also shocked to hear such a loud roar of a lion. The Kalida stopped and looked at the lion in surprise, but seeing they were bigger than him, they rushed forward and began to cross the bridge. Now, when the lion set out this loud roar, the Kalidas also got scared and they stopped for a while. They were also shocked to listen to such a loud roar. But seeing the lion was much smaller as compared to the Kalidas, so they decided to attack the lion and they decided to run across the bridge. Hurry up, cried the scarecrow. Let's cross over. Now again, the scarecrow told his friends, come on, let's cross this bridge as fast as possible and told all his friends, hurry up. So the scarecrow, the lion, the tiger and the twin wood man, they started crossing the bridge and they reached the other side of the ditch. Quick cried the scarecrow. Now again, the scarecrow came up with an idea and told the tin wood man, quickly chop off the end of that uh, bridge. The woodman began, began to use his axe at once. Now the woodman began to use his axe at once. Now why the woodman began to use his axe at once? Because he never had a heart, he never knew what, what was uh, what was uh, what was love, what was uh, frightenedness. He never knew, he couldn't express, he couldn't feel. He couldn't feel love, he couldn't feel what is, what is pain, he couldn't feel what is, uh, what is scared, what is to be like, uh, to be like in a scary situation, as he never had a heart. The Kalidas had almost crossed the bridge, when the tree fell with a crash into the ditch, along with the beast. Then, as the stone wood man chopped off this, uh, chopped off that, bridge or the trunk of the tree with great ease and the color, the bread, the kalidas, the beast and the huge tree, the trunk of the huge tree, they fell into the ditch. Well said the lion, drawing a long breath of relief. Those creatures frightened me so badly that my heart is still beating. Now, after the beast, the Kalidas and that huge trunk or the branch of the tree fell into, into the deep ditch. The lion started breathing, started relaxing. He felt some kind of peace and relaxed. He, but he was also scared and due to that incident or due to that event, his heart was beating very fast. Why was his heart beating so fast? His heart was beating so fast because he was very scared of the Kalidas. Due to that, he was his heart was beating very fast. Ah, said the tin woodman sadly, I wish I had a heart to beat. Then suddenly, in a very sad way, the tin woodman said, Ha, ah, at least you have a heart. You can feel what is what is love, what is what is frightenedness. What is hurt? I can't feel anything because I do not have a heart.
The four travelers kept walking until they could see a yellow brick road and green meadows on the other side of a broad river. Soon they saw a daylight, uh, delightful country before them. Now the four travelers, that is the Dorothy, the cowardly lion, the scarecrow, and the tin wood man, they continued with the journey and then they came, they could see the yellow brick road and green meadows, the green plants, the lush greenery meadows and plants all around them on the other side of the broad river on the other side of the there was a broad river soon they saw a delightful country before them so soon they saw a delightful country before them a countryside before them now to children to know more about the story and about their journey did they reach and met the wizard of oz you have to read the book called the wizard of oz to find out what happened next this is the story all about until then thank you please read the chapter